Alrighty, welcome to the ninth episode of Browns Brownsville Tech Live. We were a little late this evening. <laughs> we had some uh, few little technical issues. It almost never fails. But we've got my co-host back after after being in MIA for uh, a couple of weeks. Well, sir, you know, some people have to work, sir, all right? So, hey, some people have to work, and we do not have time, all right, to be lally gagging around playing games on the Internet. Oh, come on. (laughs) How was your holidays? It was good. Did you behave or didn't you behave? uh, Of course, I always behave. I'm always a good boy. On on while you're live, right? Huh? When you're live, that's what you say. Well, you know, I'm always a good boy, in more ways than one. <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> so, what's the episode right. about tonight? Well, the episode is about eight bit uh, retro gaming, and what that is is some of the retro old- gaming. Um, Atari, Nintendo, what? Atari and Nintendo, back from your day. Yeah, yeah, I remember those days. You know, there used to be an Atari plant down here in Brownsville. Yeah, in fact, my mom worked there for three years. Really? Yeah. My aunt worked, my aunt worked there, but she never gave me an Atari, so, oh well. My aunt worked there and she never got me an Atari. But they never took you, uh, to the Atari family day? Uh, I said my aunt, not my mom, all right? Huh? My aunt to her kids, not me. Well, I used to go to Atari Family Day once a year. <laughs> and what was it like? To, uh, well, you got a tour of the plants, obviously. And then they had where you could buy discounted games for um, very cheap. Interesting. So, but that was so you had, had the tw- you had the twenty six hundred. I had the twenty six hundred. Yeah, in fact, it was kind of funny because you know my parents wouldn't let me have a uh, an Atari because they thought it was evil. So it was it was great when my mom finally started working for Atari because it was it was like payback. So she couldn't say mm. that it was evil. Anymore. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, I, you know, I had my Atari 2600 with my two games that came with it originally. Can't remember what they were. Wasn't it? Pac-Man and something, Pac-Man and something else. Something with the little, little paddles. Space. Oh, the ping pong or tennis or something like that, right? I kind of I kind of went from there and had a couple of other games but you know back then I couldn't afford it well hey that's the way it was you know but that's what that's our cool. entertainment was yeah it's kind of interesting you know the last uh, was it the last episode of the episode for for that we went through the Xbox games and yes there's a big difference between the Xbox games and the uh, the old Atari and Nintendo. But, uh, well, I know my kid, my youngest, um, likes some of the old time games. Yeah. So I don't know if there's any um, knockoffs or any systems out there that still play them. Well, there is. In fact, I'm going to switch here real quick and show you what... Uh, we're actually using tonight to actually play some of those games. And uh, let me see if I can switch to it. All right, so I'm going to switch. I don't know if I'll lose the audio, but there's two uh, retro systems that will that will be showing tonight. So. The first one is a an Atari, 
It's a retro Atari. And I don't remember if it c comes with about 100 games, I think. Maybe less than that. Uh, and then the, the, the Nintendo, that one has 600 games. 600 games. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. The way that works. And is this the Nintendo with the wired or wireless controllers? No, it's wired. Uh, I know they sell some uh, yeah, at the mall with wireless. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't afford those. Oh, you couldn't afford those. All right, yeah, I, I, I understand, sir. All right, I understand. I'm serious. I don't have the kind of money you do. Oh, really? All right, hey. Hey, okay. yeah, but yeah, you have two gaming systems, retro, all right? Huh? Actually, three. <laughs> Actually, four gaming systems. My mom did not work at Atari, so hey, I I never even had an Atari. I believe my wife had an Atari. My wife had an Atari. She just told me, and she says she still has it. Wow. I don't know where, though. She says it's at her mom's well, house, so I don't know. Well, it probably it was uh, it's probably worth some money if you still have yeah, it. Yeah, maybe I can sell it. No, she said no. She said no. She said no. So, oh well, I tried. Yeah, like I said, you know, I never had an Atari twenty six hundred. Never had an Atari fifty two hundred. All right, my first gaming system, I believe, was. On Xbox. The original? Right. Yeah. And I still have that one. Hey, hey, hey. Is it going to the Southmost? You know this? Southmost Pride? Oh, yeah. Huh? Well, well, <laughs> you know. All right. So Even in the military, I did not buy myself a gaming system. Yeah. But you could so. have gotten it through eight piece. Yes, at a cheaper discounted price, all right, with no taxes. Yeah. Yeah, so. Eh. Yeah. Yep. So. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start off with the Nintendo. And then I'm, because that's the one I've got connected first. And then we'll go ahead and switch out to the Atari. I've, I've just got to make a, a, diff a different connection. Sounds good. So let me go. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to this other screen. I I believe we lost audio. No audio still. No audio. Can you hear me? I hear you now. We lost audio when you switched over. Yeah. Let me switch again. Because the what happened was that the your mic was not on that screen. How about now? I don't hear you. Hold on. Nope. Nothing. No audio. No audio. Hey, I I heard you for a minute. Okay, hold on. So I know what happened. Now can you hear me? There you go. Oh, it wasn't me. Yeah. Well, what it was is that I built this screen at the last minute, and that's why I couldn't hear you. That's what happens when you try to build your screens at the last minute. So All right, so it wasn't the uh, it wasn't my fault. No, it wasn't your fault this time. Just want to make oh this time. All right, just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what game are we gonna play first? Well, I'm gonna play Galaga because that's the one that I've actually uh, could play a little better. But uh, so 
So basically, it's got 600 games. Back and forth. So you can go back and forth. The only bad part about this is that you've got to go all the way down. So, so you remember this game. Galaga! about playing this game system is the controls aren't very um, they kind of they lag in other words they lag so like when I was doing my kicks and I start pressing the buttons I'm still over there instead of over here so I think that's part hmm. of the problem so that's the only thing about these that they lag at least with this I've noticed that so that was a pretty neat yeah. game. Yeah, my daughter has that gaming system, and we play Mario Brothers. And like you said, yeah. there's a lagging sometimes. Yeah, there is a lagging. If I go over to Mario, not the 
Mario Ken. I don't like it. I don't like it. I haven't found a shortcut to get down. I don't think there is one. Because even when you press the A and B button, it jumps you like 20 games down. Well, remember, you're getting 620 games. So. I just, was Pac-Man on the, uh, on the Nintendo? Pac-Man was not on Nintendo. So how did it end up here? Hey. Let me see. Let me see if it's the real thing, though. You know how these Chinese are. Oh, I gotta be careful. I don't know. I would either agree or disagree. <laughs> You're gonna let me sink by myself. <laughs> I just saw it. I said we've had two of them. We had one that the one you have with the wired controllers, and that one burned out and it stopped working. About a year and a half later, we got the other one with the wireless controllers, and that one lasted for about a month. Yeah, I played these two Spider Mans, the one and two, I think they suck. Not because that's the one I was just playing. Almost there. It's the same game. So it's not really 620 games, it's just... Maybe it's got better aliens. Hey, when you were small? Yeah, that was after you. <laughs> I was not rich to go spend my money in an arcade. Uh, you went to the mall, right? Rem remember the one they had at Sunrise Mall? Jolly Time? That's the name of it? And then they had something like car wash off uh, the Magic Time Car Wash. There we go. It also had yeah, my, my cousins used to work at used to work at Magic Time. Really? Yeah. I started playing uh, Donkey Kong but I couldn't I couldn't get very far. 
I can't, you know, at this age, I'm not that nimble. <laughs> if you say so, sir, I'll take your word for it. I know it's somewhere down here. But you're right, that is kind of weird that they, they included a, the same game on the menu. Would it be Mario by itself or Mario Brothers? No, it's Mario by itself. Oh, oh, no. Did you just pass it? I did? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I thought I saw it. Oh. There, 192. 192. I wonder if it's that one. Maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I told you. Oh, I suck at this one. <laughs> get it, brother. Get it. Oh, really? Was bad. Jump. Go back, get the mushroom. My daughter says she'll challenge you to a game. <laughs> Good job, you should have jumped. I, I've tried jumping and I fall all the time. Oh. Wow. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting, you know. I mean, they're nice little game systems because you really can't find these games anymore. I'm not even sure Nintendo has them for the Switch. Now, what is the resolution that you're getting on it? Uh, well, to be honest with you, what the way I had to convert it... See, I can't connect these directly to the computer because they use uh, RCA inputs. Yellows right. and white connectors. And red connectors. So what I had to do is I had to buy an RCA to HDMI converter. All right. And so that takes the signal and converts it into HDMI. And then I, I plug that into the computer via a video capture card. So theoretically, the adapter can... Um, Converted from 720p to 1080p, but I seriously doubt I'm getting 720 or or, or 1080. So, so that's that's the Nintendo. Um, and the price on that? See if I. This one was 30 bucks. I got it on, on Amazon. Well, they had some Amazon for ones, like the one that thirty dollars. Yeah, like the ones that you have with the wireless, that was like a hundred dollars. Well, I bought it here at the mall for eighty. Well, that's yeah. Well, you gotta factor in the scammers that on Amazon that are probably trying to sell it for more. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the Nintendo, and I'm gonna hook up the Atari. And I'm gonna turn it on. I'm going to use the old joystick. It's been a while since I've played with one of these. <laughs> uh, too much information, sir. Kind of small. <coughs> oh, family show. <laughs> I was
was talking about the joystick. Oh, all right. Well, they're both joysticks. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Now, where did you get this? On Amazon. Actually, really? No, this was. I don't. I think. I don't. I think my wife got it through QVC. It was actually. Remember when I had that? Well, I don't think you came, but I had an '80s birthday party a few years back. Did you come to my? 80s you were inviting party? me. No, nah, I have, but it is done on. You know, you don't want to. You don't want to hang out with the commoners. <laughs> sir, sir, so anyway, sir. All right. This wow, is, they ain't bad. So this is the Atari one. We actually got two. Because she was going to Why did you get two? And, well, she got two because she was going to gift one to somebody else. All right. And what happened? Well, the other one, the other one, the joystick broke because it was too much use. Wow. And so it also comes with uh, the old paddles. Remember these? No. Yeah. I never had an Atari, so no. I wasn't privileged enough or rich enough. I, I wasn't huh? privileged or rich. Hey, if we wanted to play something, we went outside and played marbles. <laughs> or, go, or go and play at Reese Park. Yes, sir. That's right. Basketball with uh, with the nets with no, I mean, with the hoops with no nets. There we go. Have you been by there recently? I know, man. You guys would have enjoyed playing there now. Those man. Kids to play. State of the art. Well, one thing about the Atari, as you can see, is their menu's a lot nicer. Oh, I gotta turn it on. I think. There, there we go. Hey, does it have a um, defender? I don't know. We'll find out. I haven't gone that far. My joystick don't work. That's not a personal problem, sir. <laughs> It's not wiggling. <laughs> Personal problem there. Let's see. Ah, you got to aim it right. <laughs> the story of your life. <laughs> got to know how to, how to aim it. The story of your life, Dan. All right. So here we go. So this is the joystick. It's actually a little smaller than the original one. Um, oh, once again... Story of your life. <laughs> and of course, it's got buttons. Really? The original didn't have. Yeah. I don't know what the... One of them is a select button, I guess, to pick the game. And the other one's a start. So, I'm not really sure what these... All, 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 the, all these other buttons are on the Atari up there. But, but there's no cartridge slot like well, in the old days. So yeah, where well, you have to take out the cartridge, blow on it, put it back. Well, let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically, you said you want to see those Defender? Yeah, Defender. Okay. How many games does this have? I don't know. We can count. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's 10 per screen. And there's 11 screens. So do the math. I don't know. That's too much for me. There's no defender. There's no defender. That's a mess up. Let's see if there's Pac-Man. I don't think this one has Pac-Man. Hey, Millipede. I remember that one. Well, I asked you about it. What was Millipede? Where's Millipede, millipede is just a like centipede. Reverse the beat. Where oh, well, you have a loading ball and a little worm is going all over and you're trying to shoot it down. Oh, gosh. No, I don't remember. See, there we go. See? I'm not, fam I'm not familiar with little worms. <laughs> so, how, how do you play this? See? Game? Look, see? You try to hit a worm or the millipede coming down, but if you shoot it in half, 
Shoot! Start shooting! Well, where's the... I am! I'm just trying to... I'm gonna kill you! I don't even know where I'm at. Uh, right there in the bottom! Oh, well, it's like... It wasn't firing. You should be able to move it. I can't move There's it. a spider. There's the spider. Spider. Man. Oh, this game sucks. I need the operator. Uh, reset. Is that the way it works? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's 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 do something that I know I I can play. Remember this one? Ay, ay, ay. Hold on. Oh, because you have to go down. Hold on. Um. <laughs> ah, because I'm not pointing. That's the reason why. <laughs> Duped. Remind me not to have you shoot anything for me. See, I'm getting up there. I'm losing. I got a point. Yeah, that, that might help. Get it, Dan, get it! The world... The world's depending on you! Save the world, be our hero! Yes, the world. That's how my allowance went south. <laughs> Did you get an allowance? You what is that word? Allow what? Uh, your dad dropped off that money in your lap. Oh, none of them, my friend. Uh, yeah, he allowed us to eat. He allowed us to be under a roof. He allowed us to go to school. But allowance? No. When you better than to ask my dad for money? Don't you know? Well, like I said, it's it's different from the original. So that's pretty much it. You know, this one it doesn't have the Pac-Man. This version doesn't have the Pac-Man. Now, makes me wonder if Pac-Man is Nintendo now or Atari's. It's neither. It's uh, by a company called Nam something. 
it's owned by the games. The, the company that comes out is Nam something. I can't remember. Hold on. I don't know. Nam O. Nam O. N A M C O. Dude, and you believe it was released in 1980? Yeah. Wow. How old were you? I was 10. You were 11. No, I was 9. You were 9. I was 10. Yeah, that's right. I'm a year younger. Yeah, I'm wiser. Not really. <laughs> But uh, the thing is that the Atari, th with this one, you know how it says Atari Flashback Game Console 7? They sell yeah. eights and nines, and I think the games, the different games come for each one. So if you want to play the other games, you have to buy another console. Yeah, that's what it might be. Yeah, what, so what I'm telling you, Defender came out in... 1980, and for Arcade, it was released in 81. Wow. Then they had another one called Stargate. Mm -hmm. Those were the ones that, hey, those took my money. Yeah, Stargate was in 1981. Well, if, if you recall, well, the Atari plant in Brownsville, they didn't make the, the 2600. What no. They made were they were the harnesses, the wiring harnesses for the arcade boxes. So that's what it was. Yeah, because what I read in the article on the internet was that that company uh, existed since 1971 in Brownsville, but the company was called Amplifone. And they had a patent on the CRT technology to do the games so atari bought the amplifone company to do the to do the main consoles so that's how it came about so is atari even in business nowadays no no i don't not 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 in in consoles i think there's a version of atari of, there's a company out there that does software, but I don't, but no, as far as consoles, no, I mean, it's ridiculous to, to even try. I mean, the reality it's Sony and, and Microsoft and Nintendo and Nintendo has been very lucky that they've been able to survive against Xbox and PlayStation. Yes. Like the thing, yes. The thing about the thing about the Nintendo, what helps them, is that they've always been family friendly. The games are family friendly, and the Xbox and the PS5 or the P, the PS line of, of video game systems are uh, they're not as family friendly. I mean, you can tell. So, you know, so well, I want to know. I don't have. I don't have a PS. Well, I have the Xbox One. Which, by the way, I gotta. I I I need to either decide to cancel my subscription or keep it. It's like fourteen. Well, you have all that money, man. Hey, what's a couple of dollars here and there? No, it's a couple of. It's it, that's actually two uh, uh, burger meals. Oh, hey. So, yeah, well, then I would I would suggest to uh, do what you got to do. Or it's a huh? two-piece of Popeyes. It's a two-piece of Popeyes. Hey, I haven't been to Popeyes in a while. You? Uh, actually, it was about a month or two. The thing is, Popeyes is, is expensive. Yes. Yeah. I like Pollo Loco. Because it's supposedly more healthy. 
it's healthier, but depending on who's serving, all right, you know, there's a lot of uh, mistake in orders. Is that uh, your your high class pollo loco or the low class pollo loco? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it depends which part of town. <laughs> well, it depends which part of town, sir. I only go to one. Hey, on because you know that you, um, you know that the one the one on the freeway next to McDonald's that one just grabs the chickens from Southmost and cuts them up. And what's wrong with Southmost, sir? You're from Southmost. I'm from Southmost. Huh? Yeah, I know. And we turned we out perfectly it. fine. We won't deny it like others that have lived at Southmost. <laughs> on, uh, a certain I actually ran across a friend of mine that said he never lived in Southmost. And dude, yeah. you were right there. He's like, no, no, no. I'm like, bro, really? Damn it. And he denied it. And he would not say that he lived there. I'm like, wow. Hey. Well, I, I have no problem with that. I mean, I used to uh, eat down there, you know, at the little burger stand there on the on 27th. You know, on Joe's hamburger stand? Joe's hamburger stand with the with the guy with the white shirt that he never changed and the, and the lady. Hey, 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 hey. You know, <laughs> funny story about him was when I used to live in San Perlita, I worked at the store. The owner of that store told me that in Bronzeville, her brother had a hamburger stand. Yeah. Well, when I moved to Bronzeville, right, you know, the conversation came up, and it just so happened that that man, right, was an Angelo married to a Mexican, right? Hey, that was the brother. I'm like, no way. Right? You know, and he was there forever. I don't know who owns it now. Wasn't he in the Navy or something like that? Yes, yes. Yeah, because she yes. used to talk about her son being in the Navy and stuff like that. She, yes, you know, she, yes. For every, for every ten words out of her mouth, uh, eight were cuss words, and and the two were not. <laughs> but the burgers were great, though. Um, yes, yes. Hey, have you been and back to had, Ernie's? I haven't been there in a while. They had, and they had crinkle cut fries. They only served yes, they did. Difference. I remember that's the all they served they gave over the over the church's crinkle cuts. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, so yep, yep, yep. That's what it is. You only, used to, you only used to go to the one on International. And I still go there. Is, you still do? Yes, sir. Yeah, but it's not. It's not the same. What do you mean? Well, the restaurant is different. I mean, you had to literally really? order outside or inside if you could get in. Well, yeah, they made modifications. Remember, like with these and games, his, all right? And and you could you could actually see the the guy breading the chicken and dumping it into the oil. It was kind of neat watching. <laughs> you, know, so you were a, a food watcher, were you? You don't get you don't get this way by not being a food watcher. <laughs> you, you you never uh, trust a skinny chef. Oh really? Well, you went to the hammers then all the time. He was skinny. I did every Friday. So then, every Friday I so used you to were, the hamburger stand. You were rich, man. From, and then I bought snow cones from Ernie's. You were rich, didn't you? No, huh? I wasn't rich. Yeah. And then I worked at Whataburger. Job oh, I remember. I remember that. That's when I stopped going to Whataburger. Huh? Oh, but you, Nick, you, when you told me at, that you worked, worked at that Whataburger, I'd forget it. But at the high end Whataburger, I worked at the high end Whataburger. Not oh, the at the high end. end. No, sir. No, sir. The new one is the high end. Mine. All right. Huh? Is yours. Next to Walmart. No, that's uh, mine. Is the is the newest one? On oh yeah, yours over there. Yeah, the uh, small one. They're all the same size. <laughs> no, it's not, sir. No, yeah. the one over there by CVS and Walgreens, across the street older, from Chick Fil A, is smaller than the rest. When you get older, you can't tell. 
tell the joke. <laughs> anyway, it's all proportionate. <laughs> hey, what are they making over there? Made a Jiffy Lube and something else. Well, the Jiffy Lube's already up, but I'm not going to go get my old change there. It's too expensive. Well, how about you got money, man? Huh? No, because I, I have to get synthetic oil. Why? Because my vehicle only takes synthetic. What? Yeah. You mean I thought you were the oil? I thought you were the an electric vehicle. No, I don't have that kind of money. Uh, come on, man. I'm not. I'm not, huh? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not you. Oh well. Okay. Anyway, getting okay, back to the Atari, dude. You like? Would you rather have the Atari or would you rather have what we have now? Well. Actually, to be honest with you, I like what we have now. Obviously, there's no, there's no diff, there is no uh, comparison between the graphics back then and the graphics now. I mean, there's no, there's no comparison. But you kind of do m miss the old stuff. At least I do, because on the Xbox, I'll play a game and then I'll get bored. And for some reason, I never got bored with the old games. Maybe I didn't know any better. It makes two of us, all right? When Victoria puts on her Nintendo, right? I'm on that. It's like, I wouldn't be in the room playing for hours. But when she puts the Xbox or whatever other system we have, I'm like, nah, that's it. Hey, I'm not, nah, I don't want to play. Yeah, but it might be our comfort just, level. It may be. It may be that we're not as nimble with our fingers as it, we once were. I mean, who knows? I mean, I struggle. But uh, I think the games are a lot harder to play. You know. I mean, I I have, on the Xbox, I've had Wolfenstein or Doom. I don't know. I've, and I've been playing that for years. But I can't get past a certain level. So, I don't know, you know. But, you know, what I bought the original Atari was for putting it out on the patio back when the nephews were, were a little younger. Uh -huh. And to entertain them. But I never got around to connecting it. And in the end, I didn't, put, I, I didn't connect it because I didn't want them to break it. You know, so I kept it inside. Well, of course, now hey, gonna... uh, something that you have now. Yeah, you know what I'd like to do? And maybe we'll, we'll incorporate it into a show. Uh, I've been researching on how to build an arcade, an actual arcade cabinet. Really? They sell those. Yeah, they sell those um, on Kmart. On Kmart, oh my gosh, Kmart. Target. Really? You, Walmart, you just Walmart. dated yourself, sir. I know, right? So uh, they sell them for like 400 bucks. And a guy that we used to, well, go to high school with. That's, pot, pot, that's petty cash for you. Yeah, but the problem is you're limited also. So uh, I've been looking at building one. And you can buy different components. And it's based on the uh, a Raspberry Pi computer. And I've seen a couple of guys that have built one. So, I'd like to do that. But then where would you store it? Outside in my patio. All you got to do is silicone it. You but you know it. everything down here, hey, water gets into everything down here. Well, that's why you have silicone. Hmm? It, it's water repellent. Not bad. So, so that's the idea, is to try to build one. Basically, all you would do is get a at least a 24-inch or 32-inch flat screen, and you, mount, and you mount it from the inside out, and then you connect the screen to the HDMI port on the Raspberry, and then you connect the little joysticks via USB. And then you load up the Raspberry with the software. So and the software would have different games? 
Yeah, the only thing is I don't know if it would have these kind of games. They may have uh, replica type of games. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So I, I, I'm thinking of doing that, I don't know, as a fun little project. So, But that was basically a review of these two systems. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're neat to have. But... Uh, Really, yeah. I mean, they don't they they don't compare to what we have now. So. True, true. But you also have to remember, for the time that they were in, they were the top of the line. Oh yeah. I mean, I look back now and I'm thinking, what were we thinking back in those days? I mean, what right. made us hang around arcade places? You know, with the technology as it was, but it was what it was. Yes, well, sir. But anyway, well, that's, I think we've kind of run out of time. We've gone past, our, <laughs> actually, we're kind of late today. I'm not sure what's going yeah. on. What happens when I start yeah. messing with stuff, I start, uh, you know, disengaging stuff. So I need to just w leave things well alone. That's not you, though. I know, right? That's so, not you, all right? You're right, so. Now, well, <laughs> I say... My personal favorite was the Nintendo, all right? And some for those two games, um, which is uh, Defender and Defender Stargate, all right? Yeah. You know, I would go with Mario Brothers and, you know, yeah. Nintendo in a heartbeat. I mean, I, I love playing Galaga, and, I, and Mario Brothers was fine, you know, but, uh, you know, I've, I've been playing those two games all week. You know, for the show. <laughs> and I actually, I actually uh, suck tonight, but when I'm under pressure being viewed, oh, that's when I go. Oh, really? You know. Oh, that's what it is. I, I got, actually, on the Galaga, on the, I got, like, up to, like, the four or fifth level earlier. So, hey. unfortunately, I couldn't record it. <laughs> Just like my daughter says, where's the proof? Uh, all right. Uh huh. I've heard that before. <laughs> so, hey. right. come in, come in. Right. so yeah, what's the next right. show and what's it be about? I'm not really sure. I'm usually uh, pretty good about knowing what I'm going to do next. As you know, I've launched launched my barbecue show again, so that I'm doing two shows at once. So I have to actually do two shows now. One on Sunday. Well, you have an episode on, on what? On the barbecue uh, channel. Well, actually, what's kind of funny is I haven't done barbecue, per se, because we're in winter. So our first episode was uh, birria burritos. I don't know if you ever had birria tacos. No, my wife has. I haven't. I've heard the term, and I really don't know what it is. Well, what it is, it's just basically shredded brisket, and it's cut up. It's in a it's in a guajillo chili sauce, and it tastes pretty good. And you put it in a tortilla, and you put cheese. But this particular, okay, so I, I did it in a flour. Flour. All right. So I did that for the first episode, and then the second one was caldo de res. So. So I, I mean, I know that they're not barbecue shows, but right now, it's not, it's not yet time for barbecue. All right, so, gotcha. So yeah, so I'm doing two shows at once. I may launch a third one. I haven't decided yet. It just takes a lot of time. I can imagine, and a busy man that yourself, eh? <laughs> I'm always busy. I know, I know, that's why I say a busy man like yourself with all your engagements and your endeavors that you have to go to, your exercises and hey, you know, hey, I understand. You know, I don't think I could handle past a third show though. <laughs> Either two things are going to happen. I'm going to, I'm going to tire or my computer's going to crap out. Don't say that, man. Don't say I'm here to crap out. Well, you know, chances are it'll probably crap out before I do. <laughs> I 
Está bueno. Thank you very much for the inviting me again. I, yeah. um, like I said I was MIA for a little while, but I'm back. Whenever you want me back on the show, just let me know. I will. I'll let you know. All right. All right, brother. You have a good night. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Bye-bye.